Jill has got uh, bacon on deck this morning. Jill, I don't care if it's bacon for breakfast, bacon for lunch, bacon for dinner, bacon part of dessert, uh, bacon in a drink. I will take that. Anything. Yes. Full-time bacon this morning here. But you know what, Tara? When you put kale in it, it makes the bacon healthy, right? We've got your greens going on. You've got your protein. Uh, so this is all part of a recipe that we're making here at the Echo Blue Flame Kitchen as part of the holiday collection. These are great dishes that you can bring to a holiday party or potluck. So I'm being joined by Chef J.P. Garrison here this morning. So uh, get us going here on what I need to be doing, and uh, we'll go through the steps here. So I should okay. be mixing this up, right? Uh, yeah, if you can okay. whisk those eggs together. Okay. You just want to beat them up. And to that, we're going to add a little bit of milk. So this is going to be the base. We're basically making similar to a stuffing, okay. um, and it's a little bit more savory. It's great as a breakfast dish, but it's also good as a side dish for a holiday dinner or just as like a Tuesday night meal. Wonderful. Okay, so this is called a strata. What strata. is a strata? A strata is kind of like a baked eggs. Think of a frittata minus, instead of having no crust, we're putting a little bit of bread in the crust, like a quiche. Got it. How am I doing some, here? You're doing great. <laughs> okay. Whisking professional. A little <laughs> bit of rosemary and sage. Nice. Some fresh herbs. Always add a nice little... Wonder. Nice. You're professional. Good. Uh, that's perfect. All right. So to that, I'm going to add some chopped up bread cubes. Okay. Um, this is just dried fresh or French bread. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Dried fresh bread. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> um, and we're just going to mix all, that up. It's all things. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if you can just kind of stir that for me. You got it. And what do we got going on in the pot here? In the pot. Oops, oh, I'm sorry. No problem. Bread shrapnel. <laughs> the fresh dry bread is down. Okay. Uh, in the pot we have bacon, which keeps the world running. Uh, a little bit of kale to make the bacon healthy. And yep. then some shallot and onion as well. Um, just to kind of give everything a nice base flavor. That's, and it smells fantastic. Yeah, it's great and really healthy. And then the other thing, it seems like a lot of stuff, but it's actually fairly easy to throw together, right. is we have some roasted butternut squash here. So I've roasted this ahead of time. Right. Um, squash is great this time of year. It's nice and fally. And then we're going to actually just build this similar to, say, a lasagna or something. So I'm making a mess layers. here. That's okay. okay. Cooking can be messy. Okay. That's what cleaning up is for. Okay, so we'll put the layers together. So yeah. does your layer go first? Uh, if you can put your layer in next, that would okay. be great. So the bread like okay is soaked up a decent amount of egg. Yep. Um, and you can let this sit overnight. Ideally, if you let it sit overnight, it kind of all gels together really nicely. But if you do it day of, it's it's going to be great as well. Okay. Just kind of bash that in. And then we're just going to put some of this delicious kale on top. Kale and bacon. Kale and bacon. Best combination ever. Yeah. So you can appease your healthy friends and your boyfriends as well. <laughs> The healthy friends and the boyfriends all happy. We're going to top that off with cheese. Yeah. Uh, throw it in the oven. How long does that bake for? Uh, about 35, 40 minutes in the oven. And then you can serve it right piping hot out of the oven, or you can let it rest for up to an hour and okay. then kind of eat it as you go. Fantastic. There's the finished product right there. Looks delicious. Yeah. Butternut and kale strata from the holiday collection, Tara. I would say that would be a party pleaser. What do you think? Yep, pleasing the boyfriends and also, hello, the girlfriends like bacon too.